Okay, hi guys. Today I am going to be showing you how to do a very, very, very basic sync for Utewu. And the song we'll, we will be doing today is Headphone Actor. So here we can see I've got all my files. What you're going to want is an off vocal, the original song, and your rendered wave files from Utewu. So what we're going to do first is take the off vocal and the original and pop them into Utewu. Not Utau, Audacity. I can't speak, I'm sorry. Okay, now we zoom in. So we gotta make sure that these two are lined up right. So, as you can see here, they look like they're pretty close. Play it. Yep, that seems to be on time. Now we can mute the off vocal, make it a bit smaller, go back here. Now we want to take the main and we pop it in. So then what we want to do, zoom in again and now we're matching the main wave file that we rendered to the original song. So we use the slider tool here to move it into the correct position. You can move this up a bit if you need to get a better view. And then we play it again. So you can see I don't have it on right. So then we move it a bit more. There we go. That sounds much better. A uh, little tip for this is you want to look at the waveforms. Sometimes if you do that you can figure out which word is supposed to go where. Sometimes that doesn't work though. But for just a basic thing you can sometimes find it useful. Now we want to take the two harmonies we have here, pop them in. Come on. Okay and then we want to line them up again. Normally, I line them up to the original track that I synced rather than the original song, just because normally it's easier. So then if we play it... We've got them all in line, so we mute that. Turn on the karaoke again, and play it. As you can see, we've got them all lined up. So then, since it still sounds weird, you want to turn down the harmonies a bit. That sounds a bit better. Sometimes you'll have to play with the harmonies more in order to get them sounding right, though. Okay, another good thing to do is to select them all go under effects and then compressor. Now I've been told that the compressor in Audacity isn't really that great but for just basic beginner stuff it'll work fine. So you just want to click OK. And you can see everything here has gotten better. And what this does basically is make everything louder which can be really useful if you have a soft udo. So play it again. As you can see, it's definitely louder now, but it might be a little bit too loud, so we'll select all of these, go under Tracks, and then Mix and Render. What this does is basically put them all in one little track here for you so it's easier to deal with them. So now what we want to do is we want to go up to this envelope tool here. As we can see, it is clipping here. We don't want that, so what we want to do is we want to make it a bit smaller with the envelope tool so it's not clipping anymore, and then play it. That sounds much better. Okay, next thing is to click here. This one you don't have to do for 
every song, but it works good for most songs. So what you want to do is go under Edit and then Duplicate. So now I've got two of the same track. We click on the second one, go Effect, and now what you're going to want to get is Free Verb. Now this is just, you can download it off the internet, it's not too hard to find. Normally I just leave it at the regular settings, but you can play with them if you want. Okay, so if we play this, you can see it adds that bit of reverb there, but it's probably too much, so I normally turn it down. As you can see, that sounds much better. Now, go File, Export. I usually do it as an MP3, but the thing about MP3s and Audacity is you need to have Lame downloaded. Now, you can find Lame on the original Audacity site. I think it comes with instructions on how to install it. It's really easy, and I definitely suggest getting it. You name it. Click Save. Yes. Now, this screen will pop up. You can enter in any of the track information that you want to. You click OK. And that is how you do basically the simplest sync in Audacity for Utau. I'll be going into some of the little more interesting effects, hopefully, in a future video. Hopefully I'll get, find some time for that. Um, thanks for watching.